He's my dad's brother. They lived in Missouri when they were growing up, and during the Depression, nobody there, there's no work or anything, so the kids pretty much scattered back then. And his sister and her husband lived here because there's work here, and then he came out here to finish school and, and work. They all went back to Missouri to be buried after they died. That's what they all wanted to do, except for Eric. But, you know, he didn't have a choice, so that's kind of why we're doing this, taking back home with their, all the siblings and his parents. On a Sunday morning, he went for a hike up on uh, Campbell Mountain, and he never come back. And they went out looking for him. They found him dead. He had been shot. Word got out, and some hunters that were up there at the time, one of them says, well, we were up there shooting, and, and come to find out it was him that shot him, but he didn't know it at the time. We thought it was just going to be bits and pieces that they sift through and find, and then they'd, they'd cremate it. And then we'd, you know, just to earn, I guess, as you call it. That's all I'd have to take back. Then Wednesday they said, well, he's all there. So leave him intact and put him in a new casket and we'll go with it. He's going to be buried, reburied in Monday if I get him back there. And then in August we're going to have a funeral and maybe get everybody's stories. The relatives, I've been emailing and texting and stuff, and, and they're all pleased. It couldn't be better. I'm so glad we did it.